Hey guys, what's going on? This is Yuri Makis, and today I'm doing a dual com with Bloodline Reaper. Alright, so uh, Bloodline Reaper, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm a stranger to you guys' world. I actually play uh, Call of Duty, Black Ops, a whole bunch. I'm a commentator for uh, for that game pretty much strictly. Um, that's really about it. <laughs> well, actually, um, my s I did like two or three Black Ops videos, but then I stopped because I just couldn't get any more good gameplays. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely... Um, you gotta do it a whole bunch to get good at it. Yeah. So, it's definitely acquired taste. There's a lot of people that do it. It's a big, big um, community. So it takes me a little bit to get great, great gameplays, but I get them every now and again. So. All right. <clears throat> so uh, how how did you get into YouTube? I guess I just uh, kind of um. I was, I've always been a pretty good Call of Duty player, and I started uh, getting more serious about it, kind of joined up with a couple of players, formed a team, and uh, I always watch people's YouTube videos like Woody, and uh, there's this guy that just uh, got started, and uh, I played a lot like him, and he got really big, like uh, x Jaws gave him a shout out and stuff, and I was like, you know, I could totally do that, and but the only difference between him and me is like he didn't really help people he just talked like he just you know kept people entertained by talking about his life and stuff and i always wanted to help uh you know below average players and you know i always i was also good at the game so that's pretty much why i got started into it to kind of help people entertain people and give them something fun to watch all right so a lot of times in my gameplays i usually uh, I base it a lot around strategy because my aim is just terrible. So, uh, besides strategy, can you help? Can you actually help people aim, or is that just an acquired taste? Um, it takes a lot of practice. A lot of people use uh that are on like Xbox, or PlayStation, use those things called like, F FPS freaks. I don't use any. I don't use those. It just it takes figuring out your sensitivity. You know, different guns, if you're using like an SMG or an assault rifle, they turn differently. They turn at different speeds. So it just takes playing with one gun for a long time and figuring out how how it handles pretty much. I have that in a video of mine talking about you need to master a gun and you'll become really, really good at it. And it, it'll be hard to lose a gunfight whenever you have that gun. So I use a lot of uh, tactics in a lot of my gameplays too. You know, we are, uh, my channel is pretty much based around, you know, being a better teammate and a lot of team videos. And I do have, you know, teammates that are really good. I have a buddy of mine named Thumper. He's actually a lot, a lot better than I am. And, you know, that, that we have a lot of tactics in how we play and we feed off each other. So I know whenever he's going to do something, uh, he'll always have my back. I know exactly where he's heading on certain maps and what he's doing and a whole lot of that stuff. So. All right, so team teamwork is very important, right? Oh yeah, I mean, even if it is Call of Duty, and a lot of people say, you know, Call of Duty isn't a team game, you should play actually, Battlefield or, actually, or something actually, like that. Actually, that's not true. Call of Duty is probably the most intensive team games because, like, yeah, yeah. like, Go ahead. like in PC gaming, a lot of people don't have headsets because they think that they can just type, but a lot of times they don't just type. They don't type because they don't feel like typing and talking is easier so I would have to say that Call of Duty is a pretty interactive game but only on the consoles because like I'm playing PC with the dedicated servers but it doesn't matter if the servers are fine because you're gonna get owned because no one talks yeah I don't think I can handle that that's kinda like a necessity for playing on our team you have to have a headset we're talking all the time I have a couple games when we do in game chat and we're giving shout outs every second of the game if somebody dies, you say, hey, I just died, uh, opponent's this, uh, you know, facing this way, or he's sitting right there, or something along those lines, or where they're spawning, and it, it totally gives us a major advantage, so I, I don't think I could do that without my teammates talking to me. So. Alright, so you know in uh, Demolition for COD, the spawns never switch, and they're always the same place, right? Yeah. yeah. So like in Combat Arms, maybe you suck. The, that's the game I was playing in combat arms. Uh, basically the spawns are always the same Except yeah. for one-man army and spy hunt because those are like 
you're your own army and you spawn wherever. So it's not as important there because you know where the enemy will go after it's they spawn if you're a decent player. So I guess it's not as important, but it's still pretty important. That's why I tell my subs if they want to play with me to get on Skype. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, that's totally a pretty good idea. Um, I don't know. I always get a lot of a, a grief about you know uh, people saying that you know Call it, Call of Duty or whatever shouldn't should isn't a team based game, but it it totally is. And I agree with you. There's a lot of a lot of teamwork and talking and all that stuff goes into a lot of these first person shooters, and more than people realize. So. All right. So um. Which game do you think you would? Well, hmm, which which game are you anticipating more? Uh, Modern Warfare Three or Battlefield Three? Battlefield Three. Really? For oh, uh, yeah. console? For console, yeah. I don't have a, a gaming PC. Uh, I've never really. Uh, I haven't played PC in a long, long time. PC gaming. Um, Modern Warfare Three after the Call of Duty XPs kind of got me uh, down and discouraged about it. Um, Battlefield 3, or Battlefield in general, I've never played. It, I watched a lot of the graphics, and people have been talking to me about it, and it's kind of like I'm coming into it as a, a fresh view on things. So I'm excited about it, you know, like anybody would be. Like, it's like getting a new car, you know what I mean? And um, me and my buddy Thumper are going to do a, a video series where we're going to do the co-op campaign mode with in-game chat. I'm really excited about that. Um... But yeah, just the whole Call of Duty experience that I saw, and or I didn't go to it, but I'm just saying that I've heard and all that good stuff. Uh, kind of, it really does have me discouraged that you know. I remember Robert Bowling said, you know, this this game is going to be a gun on gun game, but from all the stuff I saw, that is not the case at all. He's pretty much just told us what we wanted to hear, and then, you know, he's pretty much just they made a game for the people that are going to buy the game. They're pretty much worried about making money instead of the hardcore gamers like you know me and you, uh, and the things we don't like about it. Uh, I don't like about you know some of the modern warfare games. So that's me personally. Well, actually, I think that uh, they have something like flak jacket in modern warfare, ugh, modern warfare three, right? I, I believe so. Yeah. Yes. So it's not that bad. Like in combat arms, the, we got the RPGs, the laws, and YouTube's and stuff. But since we don't regenerate health. Uh, it really, really affects us. Although it doesn't take, it takes two hits to kill anyone with the RPG. But yeah, I think I think they they uh, uh, decreased the explosive damage from Modern Warfare 3 as well. Uh, you know how uh, if you ever played Modern Warfare 2, like it was ridiculously bad uh, in that game. But I think they 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 reduced it quite a bit for Modern Warfare 3. Um, but I don't. One thing I'm not liking is the whole like. Uh, gun perks uh have you heard anything about that like uh you can actually earn perks for your gun and i'm not liking that oh, and oh yeah oh, yeah they're not perks. gonna have they're gonna have stackable kill streaks again which i really don't like that either so yeah i i understand like if you get the like i think they have a they have the predator missile right so you get the yep. predator missile and then maybe you need like really Six or seven gun kills and everything else can be done with your kill streaks. If yeah, you get, if you much. get the right package, of course, the support package, it's going to be complete skill, of course. But yeah. I doubt people are going to be running that because it's like there's no point. It's not going to get you kills, and a lot of times, like in the PC gaming, you're pretty much a mercenary, so you're not going to be running that because you don't you don't care about the other people on your team. At least that's the mindset in the PC game. Of course, I might be wrong. Maybe one of you guys or two of you guys out there actually work together really well. But it's really hard to find a, a team working lobby if in the PC world. I, be I bet it is. I mean, that, that the PC world's I'm sure a lot smaller world than uh, than the console Call of Duty world is. So yeah. Um, but me personally, like. Uh, uh, I don't know if you watched some of my older videos. I actually uh, put up a couple high kill gameplays with me only running Spy Plane, Counter Spy Plane, and Blackbird. So I think I can uh, I can hold my own with a support package, and that's what I think I'm gonna I'll make a couple of those videos showing people that you don't have to run high to kill streaks to get a lot of kills. 
I had just put up a video where I uh, got 87 kills with the default class, you know, the class you first get when you first prestige. So I just, I like showing people that you're capable of doing something, uh, you know, without having those high kill streaks, without having those advantages. You should try to get people to not use those advantages pretty much, so. All right, so, uh, All right, uh so thanks, thanks, dude, for, uh, anytime, man, anytime on my channel. Alright guys, um, the, there's, there's gonna be a link to Bloodline Reaper's channel in the description below. And I hope that um, this <laughs> commentary kinda helped you. I, I doubt it though. Alright guys, thanks for watching.